I'm Jen Thompson. I'm the returning champion for the 63 kilo weight class and the uh, IPF Classic World Championships. We're here in hot ass clean Texas. <laughs> Can I say ass? Yep. Okay. We're here in hot ass clean Texas. And the world championships are just across the parking lot. And I'm here to kick some ass today. And you want to win, right? I want to win. He I don't want to win. I want to dominate. I want to win by a lot. That's awesome. It's big goals. Big goals today. Hopefully you'll feel good enough to reach them. That is some Texas. Although it says Ole Miss. Look how you look so small next to it. <laughs> Hello, my strong, strong friends, and welcome back to the channel. I am here with the amazing Jennifer Thompson. Hello. <laughs> so if you don't know Jen, she's a 63 oh, kilo power lifter. That's also my weight class that I compete in. And Jen is, I think yesterday I called you God's gift to the bench press. Wow. She is competing right now um, in a few hours, a few hours. at IPF, um, so International Powerlifting Federation's World Championships. So there are lifters from all over the world mm -hmm. competing and Jen is our 63 kilo USA power lifter. She's very, 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 very strong. So I'm so excited to watch you lift. How many times have you been at World Championships? Um, well, when we first started, it was just bench press, and it was a quick bench press, so I've done a lot of those. I don't even, I can't even know. <laughs> Too many to count? I think this will, if I, I have six, I think I have three powerlifting classic world titles, and four bench press only. I've seen your case of all your world championships. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is He's sweet. A handy dude. I'll put a, I'll put a <laughs> picture of that. That is, like, really really cool to see that. It's so funny because like when we very first started, you know, my very first um, bench press competition, I took third. And then... How much did you bench press? 254 in a bench shirt. Okay. This was a while ago. And that was mm, 2000. Okay. I think it was two, 1999 or 2000. So, um, and we, ha we, we put it in like a little frame. Nice. And then we went the next year and I got silver. And then he made the first one and it had like 12 pegs in it to hang medals. So and I'm he like, really believed I'm like, there in you. There's no way we are going <laughs> to fill that up. You are just really overestimating my abilities here, which he, he does always think I can achieve a lot more than I do. Yeah. That's but awesome. um, we're on our second one now. So <laughs> once you start doing the three lift meets, you get a medal for the squat, the bench, the deadlift, and then the overall. So those medals sort of. So you're just filling it up. Filling like it you up can't, best I can, as long as I can. You don't have enough cases to. <laughs> To really keep up with you. more. Yeah. <laughs> just making them, you know. That's so cool. I am going to be 43 on Monday. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> and then my very first one was 1999, so not quite 17 years. I did take a year off for a baby. Okay, that's like a small <laughs> thing that maybe well, like, like happy year or something like that. <laughs> oh, just six months is all she needs off. Yeah. I love the longevity of the sport Ooh, of powerlifting. So great. We all played sports in high school, yep. and then some. I went on to college and played basketball and ran cross country. And then once you're 23, it's like, like oh, I'm, yeah, I didn't make done. it to the big time, and then you just yeah. finish. But powerlifting, you can really become more and more successful the more years yeah. you have. It's one of those um, very rare sports where you get better as you get older. Right. Like that, I really can't think of maybe golf. Maybe golf. Yeah, then that, you get a little bit better. But powerlifting, really, if you look at our um, open, a lot of us are masters. Lifters. Which is sweet. <laughs> like I have, yeah. I have hope that maybe you one can. day. Yeah, absolutely. You just get better and better every time you go. You learn more, you know. So um, I think experience helps you out a lot too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I always think every World Championships I go to, you never know. Yeah. When that girl's coming. Right. So I always, um, I get nervous before them. I prepare my best I can for them. I don't ever walk into one thinking it's in the bag because uh -huh. I think that's the day you lose. Yeah. So i You never know. Um, Jenny Kitsu from Sweden. Mm -hmm. She's um, taken second place last couple years, and uh, she gets better and better. And she's got a pretty decent bench too, yeah. um, as she goes. So I always have my eye on her, and then you never know who else is coming. So cool. There's a lot of quick girls that came over to RAW at this meet. Um, the Russian girl, and I think the um, Brazil girl. Okay. They were top in their class and equipped, and they came over to they rock. Came over. So you really never know. Like your bench press, for instance, is so far above 
most definitely the rest of the US lifters. Right. I've heard Victoria Liang, she posted this on Facebook. Victoria Liang competed and won the junior class, the mm -hmm. 63 junior She's class. She's impressive too. She's a big up and coming, I think. Yeah, yeah. And um, I remember she said this cool thing about you. She was like, Jen Thompson kind of lets me not be content with where my bench press is. You just benched 317 in the gym, yeah. which I shared that on my Instagram. <laughs> that uh, was cool. Really amazing. <laughs> Women especially, it's a common thing to be like, oh yeah, my bench sucks. Like, but right. we move on. But I think you definitely kind of show us, like Victoria said, you show us what is possible. Yeah. Well, the bench press too, like women aren't naturally strong in this area. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got legs, we got hips, so, you know, squats and deadlifts come a little bit easier for us. Most of our sports are using that. Very few things are we using, like our upper bodies. Right. So it's something that's not very developed in the first place. So it takes, I think, a lot longer for us to develop mm -hmm. that area, that skill, and then some people are just kind of self-defeating about it. Right. But I mean, when I first started, I was doing dumbbells and just the bar. I mean, I wasn't, like, picked up 300 pounds and it was good. It yeah. took a really long time to get there. And I just happened to like it when mm -hmm. I was doing it and I started seeing results, you know, and started seeing the fit look it gives you and I liked it a lot. And cool. so it just kept pushing me more and more. But Victoria at Raw Nationals um, came up and had bicep pose off and she claimed she won. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've seen Victoria's biceps. Impressive. But we'll I have like to her see. though. She's a lot. I love her. She's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Also, powerlifters are just bad at posing. So, you just benched 315 in training. Mm -hmm. That's a personal PR. It was 317, just so you know. I <laughs> am so sorry. 317.5, that's a personal PR oh, yeah. going into world championships. Mm -hmm. So your training must be going well, right? Went really good. Yes? Uh-huh. And um, weight's good. I went with a nutritionist for the first time. We right. We talking a lot about that. And that's been a first for me, and it's been really good, but um, a little unnerving just because it's a foreign territory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, but that's been really helpful. So everything's sort of lined up. You just hope that when you hit those warm ups, you're feeling as good as you think you are. Because you really don't know until you start warming yeah. up a little bit. So, until you get on a barbell. Yeah, but ultimately, I mean, the the number one goal is just to win. I mean, you want points for Team USA. Ultimately, I want to win, female USA. Powerlifting, and then you kind of have some goals after that. So, yeah. um, hoping that on my second, my seconds are usually pretty high, but ones I know I can hit. Mm -hmm. So that and they give me a good range of what my third is. So my seconds, I hope, will put me in that first place position, mm -hmm. and then after that, I can play if I want to. With you can have some fun, some fun. But ultimately, um, the total record's most important to me. Mm -hmm. The bench, um, I could chip it or I could go big. So I'll just have to see how I feel on yeah. that. But you know, the World Championships really isn't the one where you want to just like, oh, I, let's see if we can get this. You right. Know? Right. Plus, I'm you know quite a few pounds lighter right now, so I'm not quite sure if that's going to affect that too. too yeah. Greatly. So because now you, with working with the nutritionist, you kind of did some water manipulation. Is that right? And Actually, we didn't even do that. We went sodium because okay. we were going to do that, and then he changed his mind. He's like, let's just watch sodium. So I tracked my sodium for a couple of days. And then I took it down like a thousand grams on um, Wednesday, and then I halved that on Thursday. Okay. Um, and I just kept drinking like I normally would drink, but That's not cool. crazy. Um, so it was interesting trying to find out what foods lack sodium. Yeah. It doesn't seem like there's that many. <laughs> so we eat a lot of yogurt and bananas mm -hmm. and um, just chicken. chicken with not a lot of salt. Yeah. You know. So, um, I, but I woke up really, I've been really light. That's so. good. That's good, because she texted me. She said she was a little worried. I was worried. I was freaking out. <laughs> um, and so just a note that I kind of want to highlight. People ask me about water cutting all the time, mm -hmm. and I like to cut water mm -hmm. because it, I get to like compete a little heavier than hopefully everyone else. Jen Thompson doesn't even do that. <laughs> so to be the best in the world, just know that it doesn't, yeah, sure, it can give you a little bit of an edge, but just realize that like, the best in the world doesn't do, doesn't cut for uh, meat all the time. Um, so like a lot of people have that question, even beginner lifters, they're like, should I cut? Yeah. Because yeah, more like competitive people do take that into account and they do do that. But there are some who are very, very extremely competitive and they do not. So it's not necessary for you to like cut water. Yeah, I've um, tried that a couple of times and I probably wasn't great at it. And it did work, okay, but I felt a little bit shaky and stuff afterwards. Yeah. So I thought I'd try the sodium route this way and see how it goes. So no, it that's be going great. Okay. 
And a lot of these competitions now, um, you know, are by Wilkes. Right. So even if you're in a weight class, you want to be your lightest but strongest. So mm -hmm. there's that gray area of trying to figure out what can I weigh but still be as strong as right. I think I can be. So it's, you know, it's a little... Yeah, it's definitely something to consider. Yeah. Jen is about to weigh in any, like in an hour or two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to let her rest up and we will see you at the meet. <laughs> She's not necessarily one them on Yes, it was. And it was fast. Yeah. So fast. Yeah. <laughs> World record bench. Record bench. Gave it a go on the total, but it wasn't yeah. quite there. Not today, but we have next year. We Am have I right? Next year, yeah. Congratulations, and I'm so excited for you. Now, if you guys don't follow Thompson's Gym on YouTube, make sure you go check it out. They've been putting out 
some really cool videos. Uh, Jen, like I said, is God's gift to the bench press. <laughs> Can I say that? Can you put that well, on here? Well, if you here? want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so make sure you check her out. She's always giving, she's been giving me some good mm -hmm. tips with my bench. Yeah. I'm excited to go to the um, the SSPT seminar. Seminar, yeah, we're really excited about it. It's an all women's seminar, which is um, a lot of fun, and it's girls all ages. Yeah. And you got me and Kim Walford in the deadlift, which is really awesome. Yeah. So you got some really great women there to just kind of share our expertise. We've been in it for a while, so it's yeah. kind of nice to share it with others. So I'm excited to learn yeah. from her. You guys won't be able to go because that sold out in like two days. Unbelievable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So make sure you go check out Thompson's Gym on YouTube and follow all that is wonderful with Jen Thompson and her home gym and check that out. On, check her out on Instagram too and yeah. then Snapchat and I'll link everything down below in the description. So. Thanks, Jen, Thank for bringing home another win for the U.S. of A. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.